Hello, welcome to another angling blog. Um, the past two weekends, as um, if you follow me on Facebook, you'll know I've been in overtime. So fishing time has been really, really, you know, non-existent really. I did two hours on Sunday, literally two hours on the whip. And, you know, it was catching steady. Uh, short week this week in work, I decided to take two days off. So Monday to Wednesday in work, it's Thursday today and I'm on my way to do a bit of silver fishing. Um, got the whip, got my stick flow, um, but it's not going to be easy. Uh, it's overcast. Uh, the river's not, we had any rain, so it's going to be low and clear. I imagine a little flow. I'm hoping there's going to be some flow on it. And it's going to be ground bait again, molehill soil and maggot, but it's not going to be easy. I mean, the best, the best thing about today is it's overcast. Literally is the only good thing. It's minus five on the real feel on AccuWeather and it's about one degree temperature wise. Right, just got onto the venue now. Let's say I was here on Sunday. I had about two pounds in about an hour and a half. Um, water's a bit clearer today and I can already see there's not as much flow on it. So it's gonna be hard today, It'll be really hard. I'm gonna talk about ground bait again. Today's ground bait I'm gonna use is clipped into Warrington Angling Centre, picked up some silver licks with a ground bait. I said I covered this in the last video but it's worth covering for people who haven't watched the other one. This ground bait is fantastic all round for silverfish in summer, winter, but in summer you can just on the canal I'd do this all year round. But if you're on a river I wouldn't bother doing this all year. Just today because it's so cold you know, we're talking close to zero today. So we, like I say, you've got your ground bait out the bag, straight out the bag. And as you can see, that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna riddle that through my riddle. And when you riddle it, different ground baits will be different. You'll get to know the one that you get on best with, say. But as I say, once I've riddled that now, I've riddled it straight out the bag. And as you can see, that is full of all bits of maize, shells of maize, hemp and now that today will overfeed the fish on a cold day like this that goes up the bank we don't need that what we want today is the ground bait to attract and cloud right so what I'll do is I'm going to mix the ground bait up as I normally would there's millions of videos on YouTube about mixing ground bait I'm not going to do that the one thing I have got with me is riddled uh, molehill soil and what that'll do is when I've mixed this ground bait up and I've put it back through the riddle to get all the lumps out I will then mix in the ground the, the molehill soil into the ground bait the reason for it is so you bulk out your ground bait but it's the, the molehill soil is neutral so the ground bait that you put in has got smell but most of the most of the bulk of your bait has got no food there's a lot of food just gone up the bank in all the maize so you've already got to find out ground bait the ground bait you're left with is mostly molehill soil but it's got the smell and the cloud because the fish in here will not feed will not feed in the clear conditions you want it cloudy as if the river's flooding then they'll be more confident and that's the aim of today so i'm gonna get this ground bait mixed up now That's the ground bait mixed neat with the water and as you can see you've got lumps in it like that big lumps which will overfeed the fish that's just where the water has gone into the ground bait too much so I'm just gonna pass this through the riddle and get rid of that right and that's it gone through the riddle as you can see look how how fine that is and that gives you an excellent starting point now for your ground bait so let that settle while I get the rest of the gear ready and um, Let's say I mixed up quite a bit there because I'm here most of the day today. Um, whether I'll feed all that, I don't know. Well, that's ready now to sit while I get my peg ready, and then I'll add the molehill soil. And there is the finished ground bait with the molehill soil added. As you can see, it's a much darker texture, and it's got all the molehill soil added in. So, as you can imagine, you feed that now. It's not all ground bait, is it? And that's what I'll be feeding today, tiny little nuggets like that. 
into the swim. Okay, I'm gonna get to it now. That's the ground bait done. Right, we're on the box now. Um, one of the things I love about whip fishing is how quick you can set up. Last night, I attached that rig to the end of there, passed it onto a, a ding, locked the line in place with the stopper for your whip. You pull it out like that, hold on to that, and your full setup will come off. So the time that's unraveled, you're ready to fish. Beautiful on cold winter's days where you don't want to be worrying about the line freezing, which would have happened today. Um, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to make a start. Okay. Right, just making a start now. Um, it's going to be hard today. Feeding is going to be crucial because there's hardly any flow. So whatever I put in this in this now is going to stay where I put it. So it's going to be very easy to get a lot of bites, let's say, as the first fish of the day. So to start with, you get a lot of bites because the fish are naturally just going to be attracted into the swim, okay? And there's no food there, it's just your hook bait. But as you put more and more bait in the swim, then it's sitting there and it's going to be very easy to overfeed the fish. As I say, that's two in the 45 seconds this video has been going but I'm here all day today so it's not a case of a few couple of you know a quick couple of bites for an hour or two it's not I'm not here for an hour or two today I'm here today just to, to see how many I can catch so feeding the swim is going to be essential and you've got to read the swim you've got to read the bites if you're getting lots of bites don't get carried away with putting loads of bait in because um, it's very easy very easy to be getting loads of bites and think oh yeah fill it in no you've got a two or three maggots at a time and remember everything you put in is going to affect the swim today okay going to be hard always remembering it's going to be hard it's the first slightly better fish of the day you know as i say slightly better it's about an ounce better but it's been better than what i've been getting and slowly hopefully that'll be how the day will go slowly but surely the better fish will move in okay really enjoyable at the moment and really enjoying it. Makes a nice break from being sat at my desk in work. Getting plenty of bites. Um, just feeding little nuggets of ground bait so far. Just tiny. The good thing about ground bait is you can see the, you know, the, the, I don't know if it's bubbles, but it comes up off the bottom so you can see when you're where your ground bait's working. Gives you an area to target and help you keep it over your bait. As I said, they're all about that big so far. Oh, well, one to three ounces. Maybe. I'm rubbish with weight. Uh, terrible. Terrible with weight for fish, but um, yeah, they're all about that size so far. So I say just putting two or three maggots in, you know, edging the way into the swim today, and taking it easy. You know, getting plenty of bites. My aim is to keep it that way. And I say with the whip, the fish doesn't really fight long in the water, so you're not really spooking the shoal either. So you can get you know plenty of fish while you're doing it so a little disturbance but I say feeding is the key you know there's obviously a few fish in the swim but keeping just not the trainer keeping them there is going to be the hard bit I'm going to get back to it okay with this type of fishing it's important to target areas I feel like for me now I'm trying to get all my bites from here to there between them two spots because if I can get fish there for now, I don't want to be disturbing down here. I know some of my baits coming down here, but they can wait for later. If it gets hard up here, that's where I can go. But don't be going down there straight away. You're just going to unnecessarily disturb the fish. There could be better fish accumulating down there or anything. Concentrate on catching as much as you can in this bit. And that's my tactic for today. Concentrate as much on that. If it gets hard, head down that way. Just going to talk really quickly about a whip for those who don't know. It's basically a small section of pole. This one's 
I think it's two meters. You don't have any elastic at the top, straight to the top. So not something for using when you're gonna be encountering chub, stuff like that. But it's a tiny little whip. It cost me a tenner from um, the local tackle centre in Waterton, or into the angling centre. And yeah, just shows you can have a bit of fun, don't have to cost you. If I've got rods it cost 150 quid, say. This cost me a tenner, and I got it for uh, my little daughter for the canal, but here we are on a small upper reach, putting it to good use. And I said, fishing doesn't have to cost the earth. Well, about an hour into the swim, into the session now, and I said, these are slightly better fish coming now, and that's the ground bait and the molehill soil, the smell attracting the fish into the swim. I'm convinced these fish weren't in the swim when I got here because I was catching them small little ones. And say so it just shows how the fish can come in and you can catch them. They'll be attracted in by that ground bait, the smell of it. When they get here, all they find is a few maggots and your hook baits. And I say, so going well so far. And as always, little Robin, no matter where you go, you can go down five farmers' fields sometimes. And the little guys will always find you. Two of them here today, they've had some right good goals at each other. And he goes down here now. Have a fight with his mate. Fighting like cat and dog these two, it's three of them now. There they go. Okay, well we're well into the session now. And by feeding the swim well, lightly, I've now got the fish where I want them which is right in front of me, literally there. So from having the fish all the way up and down, after a couple of hours being quiet, we've now got the fish right there. And there's a good shoal of fish there now. And say so feed the swim as you want, as you see it. Starting with two or three maggots up to about five or six now. Um, typically you turn on the camera and you don't look any light man <laughs> always the way but they are literally now off the edge of the whip the fish that's surely down to the confidence that the ground the colour of the ground baits give the fish that so they've got the colour the smell's drawn them in, there's no feed and you've got them where you want them, right underneath your feet. Okay, I'm gonna get back to it. Well into the session now, still getting a bite of chuck. Um slightly better fish coming every now and again now. I've tried hemp seed but it doesn't really work today, so I'll we'll stop feeding it as much because they're not really having it but Keep trying over the hemp seed, and like I said, that's the best roach of the day so far. Right, just going up to about, I think it's about one o'clock now, and um, so about four hours in. Um, I think you know now is a good time to you know be thinking about calling it a day. Um, the temperature is dropping, still getting a few odd bite, you know, but it has slowed down a lot now. And you know the cold, you know the cold is moving in. So my hands are absolutely freezing just by holding the fish. That's the only part of my body that is cold, is my hands. But it's because I've been constantly holding them roach. Yeah, the rest of my body's fine. And they say the fish is still feeding, although a lot quieter than it has been. So in the next half hour, we're gonna call it a day, and um, we'll have a look at the final net. Okay. Right, so there we go, final net of fish, um, just weighed them, it was 18 and a half or 19 pound, I can't remember, but a solid day's morning's fishing, you think I've been fishing four hours, it just shows, ground, out, ground bait, um, fish the right way so you can fi feed it, keep the fish in the swim, all caught on a whip, I say, it's a cracking morning's fishing now, about four hours worth of fishing, just shows what you can catch on a £10 whip 
and a bit of ground bait prepared the right way. Okay, I'm going to get these guys back now. <laughs> 